Hey guys! Okay, so this is the finished 8th grade makeup tutorial look, and my school starts tomorrow, so um, I figured I'd do this video for people who just needed a new makeup idea. And this is what it looks like, and it's pretty good. So I'm just going to show you everything that I use, and kind of like, I'm not going to really do it, but I'm going to, you know. Okay, so... One second. First, I use the Olay Total Effects Defining Eye Cream. And I just put a dot here, a dot here, and then I rub it in the clear and put it on top of my eye. Just as like an extra base. And then I use Pond's Dry Skin Cream because I have really bad dry skin. I just put that all over my face and rub it in and on my neck and everything. Because if you ever forget your neck, it's going to make it look... Like, your neck in the long run is going to turn out worse than your um, face because you didn't ever do your neck. Okay, so next I do um, NYC Skin Foundation Matching. And mine's in the shade 688 Medium because I had to get this for my dance um, dance festival. And we had to get it a shade darker, so it would show better on stage and I just use this brush it's a pretty bad cheap brush honestly and I, I I'd only do a little bit I kind of use what's in the cap and I just dot it on my forehead and around my face because if you cake it on it's gonna look really bad and you people are really bad in middle school like they judge you for everything and you really don't want just a little mistake like caking on your mouth caking on your foundation for somebody to make fun of you. Okay, so next what I use is my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in just like red spots and I do it under my eyes, on top of my eyes, up here because sometimes, or up here because sometimes I get pimples, on my chin because it gets oily, just a little bit around my face and I do that with my e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. Honestly, no professional is going to want to use a brush that goes like this the day you get it. So, that's a really not a good brush. Next, what I do is I do my Skin Clearing Neutrogena Mineral Powder. And it's just like a setting powder that I use. And I just powder it all over my face and all my eyes and everything. Just to set everything. And then I do my blush, which is an Avon Duo. And this dark color is really dark. And then this one's really light. And I use this brush, it's just an e.l.f. professional powder brush. And this one is really good, actually. And then you, when I, I just mix these two together, kind of like that. And I put it all over my face, but mainly on my cheeks. I don't really put it on my face. Just a little bit on my cheeks. And then um, I use bronzer. And this is bronzer by Mark. And it looks like this. And then inside is... No, it didn't come with this. I had this, and this is what I call a skinny kabuki, um, a kabuki on a diet, because it's so thin, and, I don't know, it's just kind of a joke that I had, because I don't have a kabuki, and so I just put that on my cheeks, and I go like this, and I do it, and then what I do is, after that, I do my um baby lip chapstick because I cannot obsess enough about how much I love chapstick I cannot stand my lips being dry so I use this baby lip chapstick and it's just in clear and then um while well, that's kind of drying I guess but it doesn't really ever dry I put on my elf eyelid primer and I just like kind of it's like a brush like this so I just like brush it on my eye and then Mix it around my fingers and put a little bit underneath because I do use a little bit of eyeshadow underneath. And then what I do is I put on my EOS chapstick. And this one's in like strawberry, banana, or whatever the strawberry kind is. I really don't remember. And then, because um, I love chapstick, once again, I can't not use it. And then what I do is I curl my lashes with this brand new e.l.f. eyelash curler. And it's... The, like, I used it the first time, and it was pretty good. There's nothing to complain about. It doesn't pinch your eye or anything. And it's, it's kind of, it's pretty even, and 
I don't know, it just works. I like it. It's good for me. So, after I curl my eyelashes, I kind of don't go right into eye um, liner. I mean, eye mascara and everything. I do my Maybelline eyeshadow first, which is this. And it is the Maybelline New York Sh Chic Naturals in 10Q Mocha. And it is really probably what I would say one of my favorite um, ones that I've ever got in eyeshadow. Because it just, I don't know, it's really even and nice and it goes on really well. And I just use it almost all the time. And then what I do is I literally have about a million brushes. Because for each color, which there's five in that palette, I use a different brush. So I'll just go through them. This is one of, I call it my present brush because I got it as a present with my with my um, foundation brush. And they're not good brushes at all. I just use them for little things like my mascara. I mean my eyeshadow. So that's the first one. And just like that. It's pretty nice. It's nothing to complain about. Um... And then this is a fairly new one. It's, the Elf Eye, it's Elf Professionals Eyeshadow Brush. It's fine. I use it. I mean, it's not great, but it it works. And this is probably one of my favorite ones. It's my Sonia Kashuk. And it's it, I call it my favorite because I don't have anything Sonia Kashuk but this. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyways... That's probably like one of my favorite brushes because of that reason. It's only my it's my only Sonic Shook. And this is probably my second because it's an Elf Professional eyeshadow brush. And this is brand new and I love it. It works so good. It doesn't it's not like the rest of the brushes that powder up when you put it in the stuff. It stays on the brush and then goes right onto your eye and it glides and it's so nice. And this is my brand, brand new um Elf Professional Defining Eye Brush, and I just use it for the crease most of the time. And there's nothing to complain about. I mean, it has a angled hair. I guess you can call it the brush hair. And um, then what I do, so I just put on my eyeshadow and everything. And then I put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath. You can see it. And then what I do is um, I tight. I use my tight. I put black mascara on my, I mean, eyeliner on my tight line. And your tight line is just that line up there for people who don't know. So I just put it on there just a little bit towards the and and I honestly this is the diamond cosmetic softest silk coal eyeliner black I don't recommend it it is painful I guess you can call it like it doesn't work barely at all um it's kind of hard to put on like it doesn't just glide right on like my old one does it's kind of like stuck and it just doesn't glide very easily so I'm a big fanatic, big fanatic over mascara too. So first I put on my lengthening and defining mascara, and it's Elf. First I put on two coats of that on both sides. Then I put on my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof, and just one um coat on each. And then at the end, I put I use my Exact Eye Lights CoverGirl um, eyeliner, and I just put a little bit towards the end. Like you can tell in the in the corner of my eye up here, there's no mascara because my eyes are so big. If I put on some in the like on my whole line, it just doesn't look good at all. So I put some on the outside and just a little bit, like it kind of fades and it's bluish. Because it matches my blue eyes. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. Um, sorry. But this is my first video, so, you know. And then at the end, I put on my pink baby lips lipstick. But it's not really lipstick. I don't know. It's kind of like lip stain a little bit. And it looks like that. I like it a lot, honestly. This is what I use every day. Because... In school, you don't want lipstick on. You know, like, you don't want this big, bright thing. Because then it looks like you tried too hard. And I think just a little pink blush onto your lip thing. It's like, yeah, I guess you can call it. It's just like a little blush onto your lip. And it just looks natural almost. And 
cute. So, um, this is what I do every day for my look. Um, if you don't like it, obviously, then don't do it. And if you do, comment on it, like, comment on it and tell me another video you'd like me to do. Um, like it, subscribe to my channel. This is my first video, so this is the only video you'd find on there if you did subscribe. But I'm going to try and put on more, and yeah, so have fun in school, guys. This is my first back-to-school video, and I think I'm going to put on another one of my all, all my back-to-school supplies. So, um, wait for that. I try and put on new videos every Monday, but sometimes it'll be like two in one day, or t like Monday and Wednesday. I never know. Alright, so bye!